Imagine a city thriving and bustling, suddenly abandoned and swallowed by time, only to be unearthed centuries later. Intriguing, isn't it? This is the allure of lost cities, ancient metropolises that were once the epitome of human civilization, now reduced to mere ruins and remnants. Whether hidden by encroaching jungles, buried under volcanic ash, or simply fallen into oblivion due to the passage of time, these cities have sparked countless tales and legends, but what truly constitutes a lost city? It's a place that has been forgotten by time, its existence blurred between the lines of history and myth, until its rediscovery jolts it back to reality. Our planet is dotted with such cities, each bearing witness to the grandeur of ancient civilizations and the impermanence of human endeavor. So buckle up your seatbelts as we embark on a thrilling journey through time, unearthing the secrets and stories of these lost cities. Join us on this thrilling journey through time as we uncover the secrets of these lost cities. High in the Andes of Peru, amidst cloud-shrouded mountains, lies the lost city of the Incas, Machu Picchu. Emerging from the veils of time and history, Machu Picchu stands as a testament to the architectural prowess and astronomical acumen of the Inca civilization. This enigmatic city was constructed in the 15th century, hidden from the world until its rediscovery in 1911 by explorer Hiram Bingham. Machu Picchu is a marvel of engineering and design. With its sophisticated dry stone walls that fuse huge blocks without the use of mortar. These structures have withstood the test of time and the region's frequent seismic activities, a testament to the Inca's deep understanding of their environment. But the city's marvels go beyond mere architecture. Machu Picchu aligns with the cosmos in ways that continue to fascinate scholars. The Intihuatana Stone, also known as the Hitching Post of the Sun, was used to predict the solstices and served as an astronomical clock, reflecting the Inca's astronomical prowess. Theories about the city's purpose are as varied as they are intriguing. Some believe it was a royal estate or a religious site. Others suggest it was a ceremonial center or a civil calendar. The truth perhaps lies shrouded in the mists that often envelop the city. Its eventual abandonment adds another layer of mystery. Some theories suggest the city was deserted during the Spanish conquest, although no evidence of Spanish presence has been found. Others propose it was abandoned due to a smallpox outbreak. Despite these unanswered questions, Machu Picchu remains a symbol of a civilization that was far advanced for its time, masterfully harmonizing architecture, astronomy, and spirituality within its cityscape. Today, it continues to captivate the world, drawing seekers of knowledge and adventure to its ancient terraces. A city that whispers tales of a civilization far advanced for its time Machu Picchu continues to astound us. Carved into the very rock, hidden amidst desert cliffs, we find the ancient city of Petra. A city of archaeological marvels, Petra was crafted by the Nabataeans, an industrious Arab civilization that thrived in the first centuries BC and AD. Their ingenious rock-cut architecture and water conduit system were impressively ahead of their time, and the remnants of these structures still inspire awe today. Petra was not just a city of stone, but a vibrant cultural hub. It sat at the crossroads of major trading routes where the spice-laden caravans from Arabia, silk from the east, and precious metals from Africa would converge. The traders brought not just goods, but also a confluence of ideas, shaping Petra into a unique blend of Hellenistic and Eastern architectural styles. The city was lost to the sands of time, its grandeur hidden away from the world. Its existence became a stuff of legends, whispered among the Bedouins as the Rose City, due to the pink hue of its sandstone cliffs. For centuries, its location was a closely guarded secret, known only to the local tribes. Then, in the early 19th century, a Swiss explorer by the name of Johann Ludwig Burkhardt embarked on a daring journey. Disguised as an Arab scholar, he persuaded his Bedouin guides to lead him to the lost city. The world was reintroduced to Petra, its grandeur revealed once more. Today, as we traverse the narrow winding Sikh, a natural gorge that serves as the city's entrance, we are greeted by the site of Alkazne or the Treasury, Petra's most iconic monument. Its intricate facade carved directly into the pink sandstone cliff face is a breathtaking testament 
to the Nabataeans' architectural prowess. From the royal tombs to the great temple, Petra is a city of mysteries and marvels, its grandeur echoing the tales of a civilization long past. It has withstood the ravages of time, weather, and conquest, its rock-cut monuments standing as a testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind. A testament to the indomitable spirit of mankind, Petra stands as a monument of ancient grandeur. Nestled in the heart of Cambodia, we find the majestic temple city of Angkor Wat, a marvel of ancient architecture. Angkor Wat stands as the world's largest religious monument, a testament to the skill and artistic vision of the Khmer Empire that reigned over a millennium ago. Originally built as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu, the site gradually transformed into a Buddhist sanctuary, reflecting the changing religious beliefs of the region. The grandeur of Angkor Wat is not just in its scale, but in the intricacies of its design. The temple complex is a symphony of stone, a harmonious blend of towering spires, intricate bas-reliefs, and labyrinthine corridors. Each carving, each statue, tells a story. Tales from Hindu and Buddhist mythology, depictions of celestial nymphs and royal processions, even scenes of everyday life. The bas-reliefs, in particular, are breathtaking in their detail and scope, spanning miles and representing thousands of figures. Yet the majesty of Angkor Wat was nearly lost to the world. Over centuries, the relentless march of the jungle threatened to erase this architectural masterpiece. The encroaching trees, the creeping vines, the relentless tropical weather all conspired to conceal Angkor Wat from human eyes. For centuries, it remained hidden, its splendor known only to the creatures of the forest and the spirits of the past. The rediscovery of Angkor Wat in the mid-19th century by French explorer Henri Mouhou brought this lost city back into the world's consciousness. Since then, efforts have been made to preserve this magnificent site, to halt the destructive forces of nature and neglect. Yet the struggle continues. The balance between preservation and allowing the site to retain its mystical, overgrown character is a delicate one. Angkor Wat, a city that bears witness to the passage of time and the shift of religions, remains an enigma. It stands as a monument to human ingenuity and artistic vision, a testament to the impermanence of empires and the endurance of faith. It is a reminder that even in abandonment there is beauty, and in decay there is a story to be told. In the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert, legends speak of a lost city filled with treasures, Zerzura. Tales of Zerzura have been whispered among the desert winds for centuries, a city of immense wealth, hidden by the shifting sands waiting to be discovered. In the world of lost cities, Zerzura is a peculiar case, a mirage of history and folklore swathed in the mystery of the unforgiving Sahara. The legends of Zerzura find their roots in ancient Egyptian tales and Arabic folklore. They speak of a white city, full of riches, guarded by birds of prey, and concealed behind a wall of sand. A city so elusive, it has been dubbed the Oasis of Little Birds or the White City of the Desert. Over the centuries, numerous expeditions have been launched in search of this mythical city. The allure of Zerzura has captivated explorers from different eras, each hoping to reveal its secrets. Among them was Prince Kamal el Dine Hussein, who in the early 20th century embarked on an expedition equipped with the latest technology of his time, including a fleet of cars and even an airplane. Yet despite their valiant efforts, the city remained elusive, hidden perhaps by the very desert that cradles it. As we delve deeper into the tale of Zerzura, the lines between reality and myth blur. Was Zerzura a real city swallowed by the Sahara's shifting sands? Or is it a mere figment of collective imagination, birthed by the solitude of the desert and the human penchant for mystery? The Sahara, with its vastness and harsh climate, has a way of swallowing secrets, keeping them hidden from prying eyes. Could Zerzura be one of these secrets? Or perhaps it's a metaphor, a symbol of the human spirit's relentless pursuit of discovery and the unknown. Zerzura, whether myth or reality, continues to captivate the imaginations of explorers and historians alike. Our quest for understanding the past and unearthing hidden treasures, whether tangible or intangible, 
is a testament to our innate curiosity and desire to unravel the mysteries of our world. And so, the legend of Zerzura lives on, an enigma shrouded in the golden sands of the Sahara. In the dense jungles of Colombia, the ancient city of the Tyrona people, Ciudad Perdida, was found. This city, older than its renowned Peruvian cousin, Machu Picchu, was built around 800 CE, a time when Europe was emerging from the Dark Ages and the Mayans were at the height of their civilization. Nestled within the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta mountain range, Ciudad Perdida, or Lost City, was a thriving metropolis. It was home to the Tyrona, an advanced indigenous civilization known for their intricate goldwork and pottery. But as time passed, the city fell into obscurity, lost to the ages and reclaimed by the surrounding jungle. Then, in the 1970s, a chance discovery by local treasure hunters brought Ciudad Perdida back into the light. The explorers, known colloquially as Guaqueros, stumbled upon a series of stone steps rising from the dense forest floor. These steps led them to an ancient city, sprawled across the mountainside, forgotten by time. The discovery of Ciudad Perdida was a significant moment for Colombian heritage, rekindling interest in the Tyrona culture and their lost civilization. The city's architecture is a testament to the Tyrona's ingenuity. They carved terraces into the steep mountainside, creating flat areas for building and farming. These terraces, linked by a network of tiled roads and paths, are scattered across the hillside, mimicking the natural contours of the landscape. At the heart of the city, circular plazas served as communal spaces where the Tyrona people would gather for ceremonies and trade. But perhaps the most striking feature of Ciudad Perdida is how it harmonizes with the surrounding environment. The city seems to grow organically from the mountainside, its structures blending seamlessly with the jungle. It's a stark reminder of the Tyrona's deep respect for nature, a value that's reflected in their architecture. A city that echoes the rhythms of nature, Ciudad Perdida is a testament to the adaptability of human civilizations. It's a place where the past and present coexist, where the whispers of ancient Tyrona echo among the ruins, and where every stone tells a story of resilience and survival. Beneath the shadow of Mount Vesuvius lies a city frozen in time, Pompeii. This ancient Italian city was once a thriving hub of commerce and culture, teeming with life under the vast Roman Empire. Yet, in a tragic twist of fate, all was lost in the blink of an eye when Vesuvius erupted violently in 79 AD, burying Pompeii under a thick layer of volcanic ash. This cataclysmic event, swift and merciless, essentially froze Pompeii in time. The city that lay hidden beneath the ash remained remarkably intact preserved for centuries until its rediscovery in the late 16th century. What archaeologists uncovered was nothing short of astonishing. Buildings, artifacts, and even the body casts of unfortunate residents were found, preserved in a state of suspended animation, offering us a unique window into the past. The streets of Pompeii, once bustling with the clamor of everyday life, now echo with the silence of its tragic end. However, these very streets, houses, and public spaces offer an intriguing insight into Roman life. The well-preserved frescoes adorning the walls of homes and public buildings provide a glimpse into the aesthetic sensibilities of the time, while the amphitheater speaks volumes about the Roman love for spectacle and sport. Every corner of Pompeii, from the grand villas of the affluent to the humble abodes of the common folk, tells a story. The markets, the baths, the temples, they all paint a picture of a society that thrived on commerce, leisure, and spirituality. The artifacts unearthed, such as household items, jewelry, and even food, further enrich our understanding of daily life in this ancient city. In the ominous shadow of Vesuvius, Pompeii stands as a silent testament to the capriciousness of nature and the fleetingness of human endeavor. Yet, through its tragic end, it offers us an invaluable glimpse into a bygone era, Pompeii, a city silenced by a volcano, provides a hauntingly vivid snapshot of ancient Roman life. Through the lens of these lost cities, we glimpse the fleeting nature of human civilizations. These silent sentinels of history 
serve as poignant reminders that even the most formidable empires can crumble, swallowed by the sands of time or hidden beneath layers of earth and foliage. They stand as monuments to the impermanence of our human endeavors, yet paradoxically, they also showcase the indomitable spirit of humanity that persists across the ages. In the heart of the Andes, the intricate stonework of Machu Picchu whispers tales of a sophisticated civilization that once thrived. In the desolate expanses of the Sahara, the elusive Zerzura teases the boundary between myth and reality. From the rock-cut brilliance of Petra to the terraced wonder of Ciudad Perdida, these cities echo with stories of human ingenuity, resilience, and adaptability. Each city, each ruin, each artifact is a puzzle piece fitting into the grand jigsaw of human history. They provide invaluable insights into our past, shedding light on the cultures that shaped our world, the societies that have come and gone, and the forces that led to their rise and fall. But these lost cities are not merely relics of the past. They are living classrooms offering lessons about the cyclical nature of civilizations, the constant flux of cultural exchange and the enduring influence of our ancestors. They remind us that while the physical structures may decay, the ideas, the beliefs and the stories they encapsulate continue to ripple through the ages. The role of archaeology in uncovering these lost cities is paramount. Archaeologists, like time-traveling detectives, painstakingly peel back the layers of time, revealing hidden chapters of our shared story. Their efforts not only help us understand where we've come from, but also guide us as we navigate the future. As we strive to preserve these sites, we are not merely conserving bricks and stones. We are safeguarding the rich tapestry of human experience, ensuring that future generations can learn from our past and continue the story that is etched in stone and time. As we uncover these lost cities, we unearth stories of our past, reminding us that while civilizations may fade, their legacies endure etched in stone and time.